please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, my friend Froggy is going to be giving us a tour of his build hack plot. And there are so many incredible things that we're going to get to see. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we have is this cake over here. And I think this is a crown on top, but I could be wrong. And then if we go over here, we have this Oreo cake. And I love the attention to detail because it has the barcode on it. So that's really cool. Same with this cake right here. And the next thing is an air fryer. And I believe he said this was made by his friend Koala. And who else thinks that Bloxburg should add air fryers? I think these are like oven mitts too. I wasn't sure at first, but they're so cute. Air fryers are really popular. So I feel like if we ever have another cooking update, we should definitely get those. We have this cake over here. I could be wrong. It looks like a cheesecake to me with like the graham cracker crust, but I could be wrong. Over here, we have this fall themed cake with pumpkins, a charcuterie board or a food tray, whatever you want to call it. But we have meats and cheeses and I'm pretty sure that's toast. I can't believe I haven't thought of this already. Next, we have this build of salmon, which is fun. And this is another air fryer made by Froggy himself. And I think it looks really, really good. And I think this is a juicer. I'm pretty sure that's what you call it. Like you put the oranges in the top and then it makes like fresh squeezed orange juice. That's another thing we should have in Bloxburg. But next, we have these cakes over here. And if you guys remember, during Halloween last year, I actually did a cake hack build video. And it was completely inspired by Froggy because I was obsessed with these cakes. So we have this one right here. Then we have this one, which is the main one that inspired me. And let's keep going. We have some random food items right here this looks a little bit fancy and this cake i'm pretty sure was it supposed to be a cat i think it was supposed to be a cat froggy when you're watching this i'm so sorry if i get anything wrong these look like burgers but kind of sick looking and then we have these marshmallows with the bats that is so creative there's also these um ghost brownies didn't we didn't we actually end up getting brownies in the game? I'm pretty sure. This cake right here that says R.I.P. Yeah, we did get brownies because those are the real brownies. Yeah, I remember. And then this cake right here. This one is also really, really cool. And let's keep going. I think these are cookies, but they also kind of look like mini pizzas. Not gonna lie. We have some hot dogs that are Halloween themed. Is this supposed to be for St. Patrick's Day? Or is this just a frog cake? I'm not not sure but it's really cute and then we have this halloween themed cake or autumn themed cake as well as the cake pops there's this one which looks like tree branches like a scary tree type of cake and this one is more on the cute side but a little bit creepy it's supposed to be a turkey though so this is like a not a Halloween themed cake, but a Thanksgiving themed cake. There's this one that's green and white. This one that's red and white. And then we have this one. Oh my goodness. I like this one a lot. I might have seen this already, but I don't remember. But it's so cute. The skeleton is stuck inside the cake. Then we have the Christmas themed cakes. So there's a snowman with Santa hat on. And then we have the little elves playing in the snow. This one has a little Christmas tree on it. Another snowman themed cake. And this one is probably my favorite. <gasps> it's actually moving. Wow. I like this one. When it's Christmas time, I definitely want to rebuild this one. And then we have these little reindeer treats. And they have the red nose for Rudolph. Next, we have some Valentine's Day themed cakes. So, bears and hearts in the color pink and red. This heart-shaped cake. And I think these are New Year's. 
So we have this one. Ooh. And at the top, there's a clock. There's this one right here. And it says 2022. How does Froggy come up with these ideas? There's this one. Maybe it's supposed to be like two people dancing. I'm not sure. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. That might be it. It, it could be. It could be this one. Wait, I see someone's over there that I'm so excited to get to. But honestly, I think this one might be in my top five out of everything that we've seen. Because it's a rainbow cake. So this one is definitely for St. Patrick's Day. So I think the frog one that we saw right over there. I think that might have just been like a random frog cake. Oh my goodness, it's like a pot of gold spilling out and everything. This looks like a bunny, kind of. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. There's a breakfast platter. There's eggs, bacon, waffles that are heart-shaped, some chocolates, and it looks like blueberries. Are the blueberries rattles? Wow, from a distance? You really cannot tell. And then over here, we have some more heart-shaped waffles or pancakes. Next, there's these cakes. Ooh, this one looks so fancy. It's kind of giving mousse vibes because of, like, the texture. I feel like this cake would be really creamy and soft. This one looks like matcha, but again... I could be wrong. Another fancy cake, but it's purple this time. This is like another variation of this one right here. So really cool. I'm kind of rushing to get over to that one, but let's give everything a decent amount of time. So we have this one right here. There's like a little leprechaun hat and some more gold coins. And then we have this cake. Oh my goodness. This one, this one is in the top five too. Love it. It's pink, it's white, there's a cloud, there's hearts. Looks like a little pink rainbow at the top. Love it. I love that so, so much. This breakfast set with sausages, pancakes, and toast. And then there's also a place to make your coffee. And it looks like a stove top as well. Then there's this cake. It's pink, orange, yellow, and green. And there's some sprinkles at the top. And a bear. Another cake. And this one is definitely really cute. It's like a little chick. So that one has to be for Easter. Maybe this one could be for Easter too. I have no idea. But this one is definitely for Easter because we have peeps. This is so creative. This one is a bunny. I really want to rebuild this one. Are the eyes the confetti thingies? Yeah, I, I honestly could not tell you how to rebuild this. I wouldn't even know where to start, but there's like eggs at the bottom too. Wow. And then the last cake is right here. So now we're going to move over here. So there's this, there's another cake, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a wedding cake because there's, there's two people on it, but I could be wrong. It just gives off wedding cake vibes, and it's three tiers too. Then we have a McDonald's meal. And there's actually sauces too. So this would be the sweet and sour sauce. And this would probably be barbecue, which are two of my favorite sauces at McDonald's. And even the box, like for the Happy Meal. Some more cakes that are so fancy. Tissue boxes, before we got the actual tissue boxes. A pencil sharpener. That is so cool. And then if we go over here, we have like stacks of money just laying around and a safe. Some more little treats. It's really creative how Froggy used the ice cream to give off that little effect. I believe these are supposed to be Rice Krispie treats with like frosting or icing at the top, like the drizzle. A carrot cake. Do you guys like carrot cake? I've never actually had it. And then right here we have these brownies, which were also for Halloween, I think. They look like eyeballs there's this orange and purple cake and right next to that uh i don't know what these are yeah literally no clue and then the last cake which also inspired me to make the cake build hack video is this one so it's like a little jack-o-lantern cake and we're done with that section 
But we do have this statue that he made of his friend Cody, his Roblox avatar. So he has headless and just look at the attention to detail. That is so amazing. I think everyone should try to attempt to make a statue of your friend's Roblox avatar because I think that would make them really happy. I'm pretty sure this is Zogon. We have an Among Us theme going on over here. Some bed build hacks that we're just gonna try and go through pretty quickly. But this one is like a little bunk bed situation with some stairs. I would have loved to have something like this when I was a kid. There's this bed with some pillows. A recliner! Ooh, I never actually thought of having recliners in Bloxburg, but I think that would be a really good idea. This bed, which is so luxurious, and this is like, maybe like an entryway sort of design. So you have some storage and plants, and this might be a blanket. I'm really trying to use my imagination here. This bunk bed, look, there's like a little tea party area for the kids. And up top, whoa, this is really tall. You don't want to fall from that but it's a little loft bed we have this storage system for the kiddos a custom piano another bed which looks really modern and this is a sofa and a clock this bed that looks like it could be for a toddler or a kid but there's some storage and some stairs leading up to the bed with some pillows this bunk bed with an open drawer. This living room. Oh my goodness. Imagine having a living room like this in real life. It's gorgeous with the fireplace going on and everything. Another bunk bed. And let me tell you, you're going to have to have a really big house for a bed like this. The last showcase room. We have this platform. So it's like half bed. And then have like living area, like with a couch and everything. And last, but definitely not least, this ginormous rainbow cake. This honestly looks so delicious, but I'd probably be sick after it. But look, there's like a little slice coming out and everything. Well, I really enjoyed touring Froggy's Bill and Hack Plot. Thank you so much for letting me come and check it out. He's been asking me to come for a while now, and I'm so glad that I did. Make sure you go and check out his socials. Again, they'll be linked in my description box. And if you do decide to recreate any of these build hacks, make sure to give credit to Froggy. And do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong